Hey everyone, it's Sarah, and I am going to share with you my picture selection for my double scoop kit that I'm going to start working on here. And um, I asked the question in my Valley High Killer Kit video if um, you guys wanted to see me choose my pictures for the kits, wanted to see that process and kind of explain why I, I'm choosing them. And I actually got a good amount of feedback um, of people saying that they do want to see that process. So I'm going to start doing picture selection videos before uh, showing my process videos for each kit. So um, this is everything that's in the kit. I have used a little bit of it. Um, I've definitely used, you know, a few of these alphas, like sticker here. Um, a couple of little things. I don't know if I've actually made any full-size pages with it or not because I don't have any papers that are cut into. So I think it's just, um, you know, I probably got into it for just a couple little things that I knew were in here. So this is going to be kind of a fresh kit, but there's not a ton as you can see. So I think I'm going to go through it pretty quickly. And um, I'll just show you real quick what I have. I have these alphabets. They're gray. Um, I have the sticker sheet these uh, transparent frames, um, star stickers, star confetti, these are wood grain, uh, little tickets, washi tape, um, and then this is the, um, these are advertisement cards that came in the kit. And um, if you see my videos before, you know that sometimes I'll use these backs because they have patterns on the back, I'll use the back of them just as embellishments on the page or as a pattern, extra layer of pattern paper. So um, th these are the embellishments. Kind of the feel for the kit seems to be um, mostly greens and blues and pinks. So that's kind of what I'm going for here. So um, I have a whole bunch of paper. I'll just flip through them really, really quickly. Um, there's a red right there, a couple neutrals. I'm kind of going front and back here for you. And... That. This is the hashtag, super cute. And that's all the pattern paper. And then for the cardstock, I have a kind of cream here, a lime green, and a light pink. So going on that, I'm gonna show you the papers that I've chosen to put together and with which, which pictures. And um, I won't go too detail into the embellishments just because I'm gonna be really, um, doing that as I'm doing the process video. So I'll talk more about those in the actual process videos. So the first thing that jumped out on me, out, out on me, <laughs> that jumped out at me was uh, this ombre chevron and it goes from green to blue. I mean, seriously, how gorgeous is that? Beautiful. And uh, the first cardstock I went to go with that is this lime green. So that's pretty perfect. And going through my pictures, let me show you actually what I'm working with here with my pictures. This is a five by seven little photo box. It's a plastic that I got at Michael's. And it's a five by seven because I do have some five by sevens in here, but seriously, this thing is full. Look at all these pictures I have to scrap. So <laughs> that's why I'm really trying to work through my kits because I have so many pictures, it's insane. And I keep printing more. Um, I, I really just, I do, I keep printing more. So this thing has never not been full. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm really trying to work through all these. Okay, so um, I chose these two papers here, the pattern and the uh, lime green, and the pictures I chose to go with this are these two pictures from, of my daughter's from when we went to Krispy Kreme a few weeks ago. And I chose that because of the green that's in the Krispy Kreme, and I also saved um, this little piece from the, from the donut box when we bought the donuts, this like one of the side flaps. So I'm gonna cut that out and use that on the page. Um, so the green jumped out at me for sure on that and then I'll try to bring in a little bit of the red with some of the embellishments. So I thought that um, the colors in these pictures went really well with um, these two papers. So that is going to be one page there. And let's see what else. Um, this rainbow kind of stripe picture paper, sorry. Um, I am going to use that with this cream to kind of help balance, uh, kind of tone down the um, the brightness of the colors a little bit. And I'm going to use these two pictures of Kaylin. Um, she has her pants up ridiculous. Like seriously, look at that. 
And she would do, she was doing that for a while and it drove me nuts. I kept pulling her pants down. You would think I'd be pulling her pants up. No, I was pulling them down because she was like Urkel pants. It was ridiculous. Anyway, so um, I'm going to put those two on a page together and um, I don't know. I don't know why actually, because the colors aren't, you know, it's not like perfect or anything, but you know, I think it looks well. I think it looks well with, um, with the rainbow paper and then this will help kind of tone it down a little bit and then I you know I have a bunch of embellishments here that I can use along with this as well so that's going to be another one this red one I am going to use these two pictures of a food truck from Tucson that we went to and it was oh, so delicious um, and I am using this red paper um, to bring out the red in the food truck because the food truck was red so I think that goes really well together there as well. Um, and I don't have like a, you know, the only other, other cardstock that's full right now is pink and that's not gonna go too well. So um, as I'm working, I'll probably make this one of my later ones and I'll just use some leftover cardstock that I have. Or if I don't have anything really left, then I'll, um, I'll grab some for my stash because I have a whole bunch. So as of right now, uh, that's the only paper I have going with those. Um, I am going to actually use these two papers together. It is a cloud and a gray with white polka dots or cream polka dots. And um, I am going to use this picture of my daughter sleeping in my bed because that's what they do when daddy's away. And um, I chose the clouds because the, or I chose the picture because of the clouds, you know, it's kind of like in, you know, dreamy, dreamland type and um, I like the way that the gray accents with the blue as well so those are going to go together there and the last one that I have planned out I'm going to actually use this hashtag paper look at that how cute tons of hashtags all over the place and the alphabet that came in the kit has hashtags in it as well so I'm going to um, my title will be a hashtag but I'm actually going to use that with this um, kind of ledger paper I guess you could say has a little bit of pink in it I'm going to bring out the pink um, also using this pink cardstock so these three are going to go together so it brings out the pink here there's tons of pink in these hashtags as well so this is going to be my background and then I'll use these two as accent papers and to go with that my pictures I have a ton of teeny tiny pictures here of Kaylin and these are just really random um, I might have put them in a little frame or I don't even know where they were, um, but they're tiny. So um, a couple of these were actually on her bulletin board. They might have been ones that I had printed out and just didn't end up using on anything, so they were just kind of sitting around. So I pulled them out, and I'm going to put them on a page. So I'm going to do kind of like a collage, um, like a grid collage in the middle of it, and it's going to be a bunch of Kayla when she was little. So I'm going to get those up on a page, and that's going to go on here with the hashtags. And uh, that's it, actually. So <laughs> um, that is, let's see, one, two, I think five, three, yeah, four, and five. So I have five pages for sure, definitely planned out that I'm gonna do. And as I'm working, I will see, like I'll definitely go ahead and get these five done, and then I will see what's left in the kit, and I will, See if I can make any other pages out of it or if I'm tired of the kit and I want to move on then I'll just move on and put everything else in my stash um, but a lot of times when I'm when I make everything that I planned I'll you know if I have a good amount left over still I'll try to bust out one or two more and as I'm working I may get some more inspiration as well based on some pictures that I already have ready to go I'll just kind of see how it goes but this is my plan for now so I'm gonna get at least five pages out of this um, double scoop kit so I'm going to go ahead and do this first one, and that will be my next process video. I hope you guys enjoyed that, and if you have any questions, please leave me comments. I read every single one, and um, I really appreciate them. So thanks again, and I will see you real soon. Bye.